Hey everybody, welcome to module three, locating and filtering. I'm gonna take a quick tour of the module components so that you know what you need to do before our next class, which is next Monday. So click on the module three, locating and filtering link on the left-hand side in the menu. And then I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of this stuff so that we have some more screen real estate. So when you first get into the module three locating filtering, you'll see the introduction. And after I'm done with the video, it will be posted here. Read the introduction to get a sense of what module three is all about, and then go to the next page. We're gonna first look at the ISTE, which is the International Society for Technology and Education. Um, standards for technology for both teachers and students. I've also provided links to the other technology uh, standards they've developed for administrators, etc. And read the seven components of why those standards are important. On the next page, I want you to reflect on this quote. Then the following two pages show you the ISTE standards for teachers and essentially they're two PDF documents and the next one is on um, the ISTE standards for students. Please make sure you go through these carefully because we're going to be discussing them in our face-to-face -face class. The next section is a um, read, reflect, and post section. So the first thing I want you to do is look through this handout on locating and filtering. You're gonna scroll down, read through the information, and look at all the things that are there about um, infor using information and inf being informationally literate. So I'm just gonna scroll back all the way down to the bottom. And once you do that, once you go through that mater those materials, what I want you to do is to answer this question. So reflecting on what we've learned so far in this module and then what we covered in module two, how do the two ideas, 21st century learning and information literacy tie together? And what I want you to do is go to Padlet so you're gonna click on that link, it's gonna open in a new window, and just like we did in other Padlets before, you're gonna double click on the wall and you're going to write something. You need to make sure though that you put your name in there if you want credit. And this is due on the day before we meet in class. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and go to the next page. And here is your first reflective journal that's required for module three. So what I want you to do is respond to the prompt. What do you think it means to be informationally literate? And how do the NETS, so the standards for teachers and students, help foster that kind of literacy? You're going to uh, label your journal entry information literacy and ISTE. And those, that post is due when your journals are due for module three. Next page is our final section, and this is on searching better. What I want you to do is go to this website, GCF Learn Free, and I want you to cover the tutorials that are there on searching. So you just click on the link here, It'll take you to the website, and you have short tutorials. There's five of them, one, two, three, four, five. Go through all of those, and then take the quiz and check your understanding, and come prepared to discuss, and also to use these skills when we meet on Monday. And last but not least,
you're going to click on the last thing which is understanding search results you need to be signed in to your CSUCI Google account and it's going to prompt you to make a copy when you click on make a copy it's going to put a copy of this Google slideshow in your Google Drive and then I want you to be go through the slideshow and be ready for Monday our following week Monday so overview you've got basically three things to do look at the ISTE nets and the standards for teachers and the standards for students look um, read some information about finding and filtering and then also practice and develop some of your searching skills that's all you have to do for this week but be prepared and ready to apply these learnings in our class a week from today see you later bye